So obviously I knew about this hotel, I mean it's located right in the marina, it's like small boat houses, I don't know, there is like five or six. If you like your space, this is probably not the hotel you want to stay at. Uh, like look, this is my luggage and I'm not really sure where am I going to open it. Also it's moving, you know, you are on the sea, so I'm very curious to see how is the night going to go. You can see the center of... Uh, of Ponta Delgada, like the city center. Let me show you. I think it's exciting and it's a different um, type of a hotel, you know? Like to enter the port, you are going to get a card and then they give you the keys from, from the house. This is how it looks like. I don't know, I like it, but I kind of want to know if um, if you have guys been to any interesting hotels and if yes, I would love to know the name and I would love to check them out. Like the location doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't have to be in Portugal or, or Sao Miguel, wherever in the world. Oh and I want to show you one more thing, like the way they do breakfast here on the boat. Uh, it's so cute. They basically leave you bread and some kind of like gems and yogurt, I guess, and granola and I actually don't know what is this. Butter. A banana, orange juice and milk, but this is so nice. Ham and cheese and stuff like that. I show you something. That's the bay here in Ponta Delgada and you know as I'm sitting here. I don't know if you've been to Madeira but uh, the last months I been going to Madeira a lot because of uh, work. Like I go there every two weeks basically and some people who are just randomly following me on the internet on, on this Instagram thing um, started texting me that their mission is that I start liking Madeira more than Sao Miguel. I mean okay even if I liked Madeira more 
I would still prefer Sao Miguel because so many important things happened here in my life so I kind of have like an emotional connection uh, to this uh, to this place and also the amount of hotels but like huge all-inclusive resorts that Madeira has it's crazy it's full like here if you look to the bay you saw it there are like one two three let's say like four big hotels they are building um, another one anyway it's just my opinion and uh if you watch Portuguese football, uh, you might uh, recognize it. So my friend who works in a restaurant in uh, Lisbon, it's the restaurant I always go to. It's um, in the city center and I really think it's one of the best restaurants in Lisbon city center. He asked me if I could get him like a football shirt from Sao Miguel because he's from Sao Miguel and uh, apparently you cannot get it in Lisbon, I mean, I don't know. Let me try it on, actually. Okay, but I like the color, it's pretty. Anyway, I'm going to show you what else I got. Air fryer. Okay, but I also got it because my sister is coming for some weeks or months and she loves to cook so I wanted to have it at home. I was never a person who was too much into cooking um, also because of my job I spent like 10 months out of 12 in hotels so there is not really an opportunity to cook but I would like to get into it a little bit more because I don't know I feel like it can be fun and also most of the times because of my uh, work I or we eat in restaurants like I have breakfast in the hotel then lunch usually somewhere in the restaurant and dinner depends uh, but most of the times also somewhere outside and after these two years since I have this job I just feel like it stopped being fun going out to restaurants and I just I don't know I start like enjoying cooking at home if that makes sense. If any of my friends watch this, they are not going to recognize me because I never said anything like that. But I feel like in the last months I said a lot of things I would have never said like two years ago.